Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this is the last video of unit number 6 of the subject electronic circuits. इससे पहले हर एक यूनिट के लिए मैंने डिटेल में वीडियो अपलोड किए और क्विक रिवीजन के भी वीडियो अपलोड किए आई विल प्रोवाइड द लिंक ऑफ क्विक रिवीजन वीडियोस इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स टुडे टॉपिक इज एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ पीएलएल वी हैव स्टडीड द ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ पीएलएल इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ पीएलएल दैट इज फेज लॉक लूप फर्स्ट इज फ्रीक्वेंसी मल्टीप्लायर यूजिंग पीएलएल एज द नेम इंडिकेट्स at the output you are getting multiplied frequency that means input frequency will be multiplied by some integer value for example output f0 which will be equals to n times any some integer into fn fn is the input frequency see this is the these four blocks i mean this part is the block diagram of pll which we have already discussed this is the feedback path we are taking a feedback from output to input side and <clears throat> in the feedback path we are using frequency divider network the output of frequency divider network is f0 by n because this is the block which is dividing the frequency by some integer amount n so output of frequency divider block is f0 by n at the input of phase detector we are applying fn so there are two inputs for the phase detector one is fn that is input frequency and another is f0 by n now vco that is voltage controlled oscillator will try to capture this frequency that means we want the output frequency which is equals to i mean output of frequency divider which is equals to f0 by n but to get this value f0 by n vco voltage controlled oscillator has to run at the frequency f0 is equals to n times f in and this signal we are taking it as an output so this is called the frequency multiplication jaise maine bataya frequency divider ka output hum logo ko chahiye f0 by n so it is applied to the fn and another frequency is f it is applied to phase detector and another frequency to the phase detector is fn so pll will try to make these two values equal to make it equal vco should produce the frequency n times fn so at the output we are getting n times the input frequency this is frequency multiplication using pll this waveform shows the uh, output of frequency multiplier this is the f in we are considering one cycle in this case this is on cycle this is off cycle so combination of on and off will represents one complete cycle as shown in this diagram this is just one example as shown in this diagram we are getting five frequencies that means in another language f0 is 5 times this is 1 2 3 4 5 you are getting f0 is equals to 5 times f in <coughs> that means output frequency will be multiplied by some integer value suppose hum log ko frequency division karna hai using pll the block diagram remains same only this block will be changed it will be frequency multiplier and at this output of this block you are getting n times f0 so this value will be f in by capital n so this is f in by capital n remaining operation will be same the next application is pll as fm demodulator or fm detector exam point of view say hum log question aise expect kar sakte draw the block diagram of fm demodulator using pll or how pll can be used as fm detection or fm demodulator so this is the corresponding block diagram in this case we are using vcu voltage controlled oscillator in the feedback path for the phase detector there are two inputs one is fm signal jo hum logo ko demodulate karna hai and another signal is the output of voltage controlled oscillator now whenever the pll is locked then vco will try to track incoming uh, frequency that means it will try to track this fm input signal which we are applying at the input of phase detector <clears throat> look at the diagram the output of error amplifier as the name indicates it gives difference uh, between the center frequency and the corresponding value 
that means it produces error amplifier produces the output signal which is proportional to the deviation of input frequency with respect to center frequency so this output is corresponding to modulating signal that's what we want to generate so at the output we are using one capacitor and final output will be demodulated fm signal the next application is how pll can be used as fsk demodulator using ic565 we know that ic565 is used as a pll so this is the circuit diagram uh, to generate fsk demodulator using pll ic565 exam point of view se hum log aise question expect kar sakte ho draw and explain how fsk demodulation can be done using pll ic565 so i have written some important points related to this before that what is fsk fsk is frequency shift king in case of computer peripherals or in case of wireless communication the carrier frequency is shifted between two reference values one is higher value higher frequency fh another is lower frequency fl do remember it like this higher frequency fh corresponds to binary data that is logic 1 and lower frequency fl corresponds to the binary data logic 0 so carrier frequency is shifted between fh and fl that is higher frequency and lower frequency fh corresponds to logic 1 level of binary data which is also referred as a mark fl corresponds to logic 0 of binary data which is also referred as space in this application the vco that is voltage controlled oscillator is driven by the binary data so for logic 1 the transmitter generates frequency fh that is higher frequency naturally higher frequency is greater than the center frequency whereas for logic 0 the transmitter generates fl that is lower frequency and as the name indicates lower frequency is less than the center frequency f0 this is the connection diagram related to pll ic565 in this diagram register r1 and capacitor c1 are, are used to set the uh, frequency f0 as we have discussed in earlier video also at the input side we are applying fsk data that is fsk input which is frequency shift king input one capacitor is used which is marked as cc it stands for coupling capacitor so this capacitor couples this fsk input to this particular circuit but major use of this capacitor is to block any dc component present in the fsk input <clears throat> here we have shown three stage rc filter this is the filter which is designed using resistor and capacitor so it is rc filter it is also called rc ladder network the function of this rc filter is to remove the carrier signal and its output is given to negative terminal of comparator the positive terminal of comparator is connected to pin number 6 where we are getting some reference uh, level so comparator compares this output of uh, three stage rc filter with some reference value and accordingly digital data will be generated now as we discussed r1 and c1 sets the free running frequency here binary data is applied to vco that is voltage controlled oscillator so controlling voltage related to fh related to higher frequency is given by vc1 is equals to fh minus f0 divided by k k is the coefficient which is related to voltage to frequency conversion similarly the control voltage vc2 related to lower frequency is given by f0 minus fl upon k as we discussed comparator compares these voltages with some reference value and produces the digital output so this is the way how pll can be used as fsk demodulator so dear students that's it for today's session and that's it for today's uh, that's it for entire series of electronic circuit so thank you thanks a lot for watching this series